The best way to complete the hideaway is to think of the map as one large circuit. There is not much in way of hidden locations of this map except for a secret room located at the bottom of the cistern about halfway around the circuit. Your objective will be to obtain one item of treasure that will spawn in one of two locations, plus three hidden caches that spawn at random amongst a number of locations. As you enter the first room, keep an eye out to see if there's an objective marker in the top right of the screen. If there isn't, you can he just head right up the ramp and into the next room, avoiding the NPCs. If there is one there though, however, head off to the left and jump up the rocky ramp against the wall and onto the wooden beam. Just before the wooden beam ends, jump off to the right onto another rocky ledge that leads onto the sewer pipe exit and onto some wooden scaffolding. The first spawn location for a hidden cache can then sometimes be found just ahead. To get back off this platform, you could jump into the pool of water behind you and climb out, but personally, I just prefer to jump towards the ground off to the right of the chest, just being careful of where the patrolling sentries are. Once up the ramp, carry on down the corridor, being aware of the sentry NPC who patrols this area. This hiding spot here is perfect for hiding in to let them pass. It should be noted that you'll always encounter lantern-bearing sentries in this heist, and never the trap lane type, so your tactics in here should never have to change. Once the NPC has passed you, move into the next room and jump off the bridge to your right just as you enter onto a wooden platform. This is the second location where a hidden cache might spawn. I avoid the two rooms in the bottom right of the map at this point. They are not difficult locations to get through should you wish to head in that direction, but I found the locations I'm about to show you should provide more than enough places to complete the heist without issue every single time. From the platform you need to drop down onto the floor of the room below and head out of the north exit. The sentry here just walks in a circle around the central pillar, so just follow him around the room until there's just enough space to squeeze between his own stealth suppression and the entrance to the next corridor. This next room is spread across multiple levels. Just beneath the level you enter in on, there is another possible spawn location for a hidden cache. You can get to it by hugging the tiny thin ledge around the central pillar, though there is also a rocky ledge that runs around the outside that can also be used. There is also another possible location for a hidden cache that can be found by jumping into the water. In the northwest side of the wall, there is a tunnel that leads through to the heist's only hidden room. You don't need to worry about stealth here, there are no NPCs to be found. To return back out of here, swim back out and you'll find a ramp heading back up. The various rocky elements and planks of the wood don't meet perfectly, so you may need to find you need to jump a couple of times to climb back up them. Back at the level where we entered in on, the first main treasure spawn location can be found opposite where we came into the room, behind the planks of wood on the opposite side. Once inside this room, you don't need to worry about the sentries who patrol outside. The sentry on this level just walks back and forth around the outside of the room, so just wait until you have clear space to get past and you'll be able to move back over the bridge and up the ramp to the top level of the room and through to the corridor that exits to the north. There is an NPC who patrols between the next room and along this corridor. Sometimes you may need to wait for him to move on the ramp or use the hidden spot in the corridor. At other times you may be lucky and he will just be on the right hand side of the room and you can just move around him to the left. Just be aware of the two normal NPCs who also occupy the far end of this room especially the ones who move back and forth across the entrance to the next corridor as you'll be heading down it towards the west. This next room is possibly one of the most trickiest rooms to get across, but it's still fairly simple once you know how. You need to wait for the patrolling sentry NPC to move towards the opposite end of the room before heading up the wooden platform area and sticking to the corner. This is actually the second possible spawn location for the main treasure, but worth heading towards anyway as it's also a good location to wait for the sentry NPC to walk back past you. Just remember to stick as close to the wall as you can to stay out of the guard's stealth suppression. Next, head up the ramp in front of the exit to this room in the southeast side and wait for the NPC in this area to move into your room. You can then drop down off the ramp behind him and move into the short corridor. The next NPC moves between either side of the next room. It's a little tighter space, but just pass him on the opposite side of the room to wherever he currently is towards the sewer pipe. Having armor and or abilities that reduce detection radius are very handy here. The pipe will exit into the first room and you will need to jump down into the water below. Just be aware that the boss will now spawn and will patrol around this room, including by the water's edge, so you may need to wait for the boss to move before jumping down as you won't be in stealth when you hit the water. Climb back out of the water, not forgetting to enter stealth as soon as you are out. 
From this point, it's just a matter of hiding somewhere like behind these rocks and waiting for a window of opportunity to squeeze past both the boss and the patrol to get back down to the corridor to the south. Once in this corridor, you can drop from stealth if you wish and sprint towards Farandar, ready to complete the heist. Thank you for watching this video. I'd be really pleased if you were able to subscribe to this channel. We are producing a number of videos that are related to this, and I will be doing a few others as well in time. In the meantime, why don't you have a check out some of the other videos that we've already done?